Hello everybody. Yep, you guessed it. <laughs> I got a new uh, play toy today. Uh, I've used Husqvarna for a long time. I kind of started out in, in firewood industry as a teenager and can't get away from it ever since. So I've used a lot of different chainsaws, but I gotta be honest with you, there's only a couple of them that I'd recommend and Husqvarna is one of them. Uh, so this here is the 450 Rancher. I'll show you my other one here in a little bit. I've had it for a long time. I think I might have backed over it with a tractor a couple times, dropped it from a tree, uh, you name it. I've been really, really hard on this chainsaw. It's still running, but I know it's July, but it's in the back of my head that we're going to be cutting firewood here soon because uh, we burn a lot of firewood. So. I went and picked up another one. Uh, this one here is a 20 inch. And I'm going to go over some of the details about it. You know, it's just a really, really good chainsaw. And if this one's anything like the, the last one I just purchased, uh, probably maybe five years ago, uh, it's it's a very good chainsaw. So can't wait to get this thing fired up uh, and, and see how it performs. But right now, what I'm going to do here in a little bit is just kind of show you some of the basic features on this um, saw. Uh, like I said, I, I use saws all the time around here. I have a little small sawmill that I'm always needing to cut up, you know, different woods and, and that kind of thing uh, for, you know, some of the projects that I'm working on. But another story there, good saw. Let's go open this thing up and I'll show you a few things in it. All right, so I'm going to attempt to just show you some basic stuff on, on the saw, uh, as long as I don't get too long-winded here. You know, uh, first thing, uh, this is the 450 Rancher uh, X Torque. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, I've got one of its smaller versions. It still runs, it does really good, but I needed a new one and I needed a longer one, so I went with the uh, 20 inch. Now, this is the smaller 20 inch. There, there's a bigger one. Uh, actually there's a lot of bigger ones but uh, the bigger one in this series was probably about five pounds heavier I mean it's just a beast uh, and I've run the 440 for you know a good while now and it's done fine except I just needed a little bit longer bar um, and it was I'm starting to wear it out so that's why I decided to go with the 450 it, it's lighter uh, and it still has plenty of power I mean you'll see here in a little bit I'm gonna get this thing fired up so, you know, it, most of these uh, Husqvarna's come with, you know, your basic uh, two-stroke two oil, which I always try to stay with the two-stroke oil uh, because my thinking is they know what belongs in this saw. So always go with their two-stroke oil. I mean, there are other ones out there, but my thinking is they know what they're doing because they want it to last. So, uh, so then a manual... All your literatures and stuff um, usually will come with it. I mean, this one here is pretty thick. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, probably your warranty uh, and all that good information. Most of all of them come with one of these. I've, I've got a nice little collection of these because I've had a lot of different type saws through the year. So this is important because this is this is all you need. All right, uh, and then the plugs. And we're going to go ahead and. Well, I'm not going to put them in now. I'm going to try to keep this short. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just replace this stuff here uh, with these plugs. So, uh, you know, maintenance on this thing. You know, if you need to get into it, these little clips on the side come loose. And it's a little tricky sometimes. This is fairly new. So let me, let me open this thing up. See if we can get that to open. There you go. And it just, it pops right off. It's got a little, little rubbery thing down there that holds on to it. Um, so, and then one on this side. Just gently pop it open. There's that. And then there's one up here on the top. So we're gonna pop that one open too. There you go. So now, this thing just comes off. All right. And that's how you get to your plug. So what's important about this Sometimes, depending on your gas mixture and how you get it, uh, it may foul out on you. So this little tool here helps you get that plug out. Pretty simple.
All right, so pretty straightforward. Get the plug out. Uh, this one was a little tight. Um, and then a lot of times you foul them out, you got to clean them up and just put them back. So it's, that's why I say it's important. I always have one of these on the tractor, uh, toolboxes. Like I said, I've got quite a few of them around. So nice tool. Now you can have your wrenches and screwdrivers and all that, but I'd rather lose this than one of my, one of my screwdrivers and wrenches. So there you go. So there's that. All right, so that, that's pretty straightforward. Put the plug back on there. Little caddy for the uh, plug wire goes back into that. So for changing your air filter, same concept. This is where you get to to, to do all that. Uh, yeah, this one here, just pop it off. Replace, clean, whatever you decide to do. Uh, nine times out of ten, I teach to take a tap and clean it until it absolutely just uh, decides to say, nope, I'm not going to run anymore. <laughs> so you replace it. Straightforward, easy. All right. So the cover goes back on the same way. Now, some of the older models, they you had to unscrew them and all that good stuff. But somewhere along the line, I don't know when, they started coming up with these clips. So there you go that's that very simple so as far as the chain goes uh, same thing there's your magic wrench so sometimes it gets loose you need to um, tighten the chain so you loosen the, the nut and then the tensioner is right here one way or the other tighten or loosen depending which way you need to go there you go so pretty straightforward on that. Now I'm going to loosen this up just a tad because I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Uh, one of the bigger problems I run into a lot, especially if you use the wrong oil for the uh, the bar and chain oil, and, and even when you use the right oil, it tends to do it too. But a lot of shavings get up in here and just cause this thing to get clogged up on you. And this is brand new. I've never had this off, so this is really tight. So the oiler, all this stuff right in here, tends to get just kind of dirty. And just, you've got to keep this clean, you know, take and scrape out all the, the gunk in here, clean it off, hose it off, whatever you need to do. The oil comes right through this little port right here, and it goes into here and keeps everything lubricated. So it's very important to keep that chain uh, nice and cool because if it starts getting too hot, it, it'll just destroy itself. You know, it'll start stretching on you. Uh, so it's, it's very important uh, to keep the right, you know, right uh, tightness on this chain because if it's too loose, well, it ends up kicking off. And if it's not tight enough, or if it's too tight rather, um, you can just you can hurt the chain. So I don't run it super, super tight. There you go. It's that simple. Now the brake, uh, pretty straightforward. You know, it just is designed to stop that chain, right? You know, if something happens, you can stop the chain from pulling. So very nice saw. You know, this one here uh, is very nice when it comes to using it because it's just got a, it just, it takes in some of the vibration with the springs and then the way the handle is with a spring in here, uh, it just, uh, it does a really good job. So cranking, pretty simple, pull this up, choke it, pump it six times or so, and then pull the, pull the crank. We're gonna put some oil in this thing. I'm gonna put these tabs in it, and uh, we're gonna get it fired up here in a second. So, see you in a minute.
right out of the box, so to speak. Uh, put some gas in it, some oil, got it running a little good, and then cut like butter. I mean, just like clockwork. You know, I can always trust uh, the Husqvarna saw. Now, as far as the, my old one, uh, I looked at the date. Uh, sure enough, uh, it was 2016 when I purchased this one, and and it's still running strong. Uh, I've gone through like two or three bars because of my stupidity, uh, and good gosh, I can't count how many chains. So, excellent saw. You know, if you if you want a friend for a while, then I definitely recommend. Uh, get me one of these. Just take care of it. Don't beat it up like I do. Um, uh, even even after taking the abuse from me, it's still running. So that kind of tells you something right there. So that's it for this one, and uh, we'll see you in the next. Oh, one more thing. Don't buy the cheap blades. <laughs> you know, lesson learned. Uh, if it doesn't have that gold link in it right there, it's not one of their um, blades. Um, and it just does not sharpen very well. Uh, it just it just doesn't last as long. So do yourself a favor and get a good uh, chain. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you next time.